But it's, these sides are positive, so let's square both sides then and see what we get. So we get 9x squared on the left. And on the right, square of this, we'll just uh, have this, these two terms squared, so it'll be an x squared in our mind's eye. Plus 2x and 2x make 4x, and two twos are 4. Move all this over to be with a 9x squared. Move the x squared over, it becomes 8x squared. Move the 4x over, minus 4x. And then lastly, move the 4 over. Is less than naught. There's a 4 common here. So divide by 4 all the way through, and we get 2x squared minus x minus 1 is less than naught. Now, does it factorize? It's got to be 2x and x. There's got to be a 1 and a 1 if it does factorize. That's a minus, so that's a minus, and that's a plus. So that would be less than naught. It's a positive quadratic. It has roots at 1 and minus a half. It's a positive quadratic, so it comes down and swings up and goes through there and goes up. So, um, when is this quadratic less than naught? It's less than naught from here through to here. It equals naught at 1, it equals naught at minus a half, so they're not included. So x can go up to but not touch 1, and it can go down to but not touch minus a half. So, in summary then, here we see that minus a half is less than x is less than 1.